so another tool score. Uh, Christmas is coming. My wife asked me what I wanted for Christmas. I uh, showed her uh, this dividing head uh, that I saw in Kijiji. It was uh, 200 bucks. I gave the guy what he offered or what he wanted for it. Uh, nice little machine. It's perfect for my small machines. I got the dividing head. I got some extra uh, indexing plates, I guess it is. Uh, I got the tail stock with it. Um, I got a face plate for it. I guess this is probably a back plate for uh, for a uh, a chuck. I also got a chuck and a key with it. A little three jaw bison, so good quality. Um, made in Poland. Uh, it's also got, and I'm not sure if these are really for this, but I've got a couple extra indexing plates. A larger handle and and the other parts uh, so I'm not sure if this one actually fits um, it doesn't look like it's the right uh, bore size so I don't know maybe I'll try and uh, I'll try it out see if I can make it work and if not uh, I think it's gonna be too big anyway um, but anyway so all of that for two hundred dollars now the guy bought this stuff. He's a CNC programmer, and he bought this stuff on a, at an uh, estate sale, and he had a bunch of other things. So let me move this out of the way, and I'll show you the rest of the stuff that I got off him after going through a few things. Move this all out of the way. So uh, I always like long drills, and. Uh, so I've got a few few longer drill bits from the guy. Put those down. Uh, he had uh, a bunch of uh, chuck, uh, whatever. I can't remember. Why does my brain always do this? Anyway, I think these are going to fit a chuck that uh, that I have. Uh, he gave them to me for like two bucks. So I took all of those, uh, handy to have. Uh, he had a really small uh, height gauge, so I've got a really small uh, surface plate, so probably work out good. Two bucks. Uh, in the end, I gave him 120 bucks for all the rest of the stuff. Uh, I got uh, a set of these, and it's it's Bridgeport. Uh, a set of end mills that uh, lock into this, so. They lock, lock in somehow, there, and so, you know, easily removable. I don't know if I'm really going to use these, but uh, kind of neat, might be too long for my mill, but it's got a complete set in there, uh, two of these uh, holders, I guess, um, chamfering, or uh, all kinds of bits and everything in there. Uh, quite a few of them. I don't know if you can see it. So I got all, I got those. Uh, then uh, a Rome chuck, and this one looks like it's uh, pretty good. I'll have to check it out. Uh, my um, my chuck that I have on my lathe, uh, my uh, is no good. So I bought one, a Chinese one. And the thing can't hold worth beans. So now I've got a, myself a nice uh, Rome chuck for my lathe. So there's those things. Let me get these out of the way. I'll show you the next thing. So I, last video I showed uh, the little horizontal mill that I had. And I've been looking for some cutters for it. And this guy just happened to have some cutters. So we got all kinds of cutters here. Larger ones, slitting saws, more cutters, more slitting saws and cutters. A couple in packages that have never been used, multiples. So I got a few of those, some more. Another, and these are Butterfield. Uh, some of these are Simmons, Butterfield. Simmons, so pretty good quality stuff. A little grinding wheel. Eh, I don't know what that's for, but 
another one, another Butterfield cutter, uh, another cutter here, more, and all of these will fit my uh, my mill. Another one here, so a bunch of those. What we got here? Nothing. Uh, so all of those cutters. I'm going to try and make this quicker than the last video. Uh, the last one was a bit long. So all those cutters. And then all of these cutters. So uh, I don't think I can use that, but brand new. Looks kind of cool. <clears throat> that, more cutters, big cutters, more. More. All kinds of uh, cutters in here. Some brand new, some older. This one hasn't even got the wax off it yet. That arbor's a little smaller. I'll have to uh, build a, an arbor for it. More brand new stuff. A few more cutters. We'll get this out of the way. More slitting saws. These look like they're uh, worn down to nothing. Union twist drill. Again, more cutters. I'll slip those over there. A few more. So, a stack more. All kinds of stuff here. Got some gear cutters. A lot of these radius ones. More of those. Another one of those. Another bunch there. More here. Another whack of them. So all those cutters, the chalk, uh, the rest of these cutters over here, the Rome, oops, the Rome chalk, those twist drills, uh, the height gauge, all of that, plus the this Bridgeport stuff. That was all 120 bucks. So. Walked out of there uh, $320 lighter, uh, $200 of it for the uh, for the um, dividing head uh, is going to be a Christmas present, so I got to get a box together and wrap that up, and then be surprised at Christmas when I when I open it. I might be able to guess what it is just from the weight uh, when I open it, uh, but uh, the kids will be happy. So that's it for the tool score today. Uh, I think I did pretty good. Uh, I pretty much. Uh, rounded out my set of cutters that I needed for my horizontal mill. I'm going to have to get that thing running uh, and, uh, and start doing some uh, horizontal milling. So, thanks for watching uh, and everybody have uh, a great Thanksgiving. It's uh, Thanksgiving down in the States. We already had ours up in Canada here. And uh, yeah, so have a good time. I'm going to be uh, going down to California next, uh, or no, in two weeks. I'm going to see if I can maybe hit up uh, a few people down in California when I'm there, but I'm not sure I'm going to get the time. So thanks for watching.